Good morning and welcome to our time of gathering. Let's start with a word of prayer. Lord, as we come before you, we ask for your presence to abide with us and lift us up and teach us what you would have us to know and learn. In Amen. I, my tradition follows what they call the common lectionary. And it's a series of readings for each Sunday and uh, <clears throat> that is followed by most major denominations and the Catholic Church. And uh, during Lent, uh, we get some, we get a lot of good readings. And today, this coming Sunday is the fourth Sunday in Lent. And the reading, the psalm reading for this week is the 23rd Psalm. And that's one you're familiar with. A lot of you have probably, some of you might even know it by heart. But like so many things, we hear it, but are we listening to it? And so let's allow God to speak to us through this 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now David, who was the psalmist in this one, is just talking about his daily experience with God. And a lot of us don't realize that this Psalm is about our daily experience with God. That wherever we are, whatever we are doing, God is present for us, with us, guiding and leading. And sometimes we, like sheep, don't listen. We go our own way. We do our own thing very often wind up in trouble. I had a farmer once tell me that sheep were the stupidest animals on the, the God ever created. Because left to their own devices, they would not last. They have to be shepherded. And we're kind of the same way in some ways. Yeah, we're smarter. Theoretically, we're smarter. But we often find ourselves down or in trouble or in situations that we don't know what to do. We find ourselves lost and don't know how to find our ways back, our way back. Or we find the world around us change so drastically because of the death of a loved one or destruction of uh, our house, which some people have seen recently natural disasters, and we feel abandoned. This psalm reminded David, and it should remind us, that we are never abandoned. Even in the most dire of circumstances, our shepherd is guiding us and walking with us. One of my favorite lines in here is, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I know that you are with me. You and I oftentimes find ourselves not understanding life and not, under, not knowing which way to go or how to proceed. Sometimes we feel like a total failure. 
But the psalmist says, stop and understand that you are not only loved, but you are cared for. And God will take you where you need to be. And sometimes you don't have a clue where that is, but God knows. My wife and I often joke, we've, we joked for years that the one place that we would never want to live is the Central Valley. I mean, we would go, when I lived in Washington State, I lived near Spokane, and my family is in San Diego, and so we would have to drive through the Central Valley. And by the time we got to Bakersfield, my wife and I were ready for a divorce. Because of the heat, the humidity, we were on each other. Because up there, we, never, we didn't need air conditioning. Our car didn't have it. But somewhere along the line, I got a call that brought me to the Central Valley. I almost didn't take it, but something inside me said, this is where I needed to be. And so I came, thinking that I would be here, solve the problem the church was having, and then go on to another parish. Well, 24 years later, I retired from this parish. And it was the most fun I had in my whole ministry. And my wife and I have chosen that this is where we are going to stay. God is leading you. God is your shepherd who has your best interest in mind even when you don't realize it. So when you're at the, where your wit's end, you don't know what to do, you, you've, you've made mistakes, you know you're broken, you know you're lost. Understand something. That even in those times, God is present. There to protect you, sometimes from yourself. Because He has a plan. And you are part of it. The last line is, Lord, I'm going to dwell in your place forever. In your house. That's not a church. That's in the presence of God. And I'm going to be there because that's where I belong. And that's where you belong. God is there for you now and in the future, no matter what. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your love and for your consistency. That even when I walk away from you, even when I'm wrong or finding myself so far from where you would have me to be, you take me to where I need to be if I just open my eyes and understand that you are there, loving me and caring for my future. Amen. Hey, God bless you. Have a good day. And remember that God is with you as you do your tasks, and as you just be the per just, are just the person that God created you to be, that God is with you through it all. God bless you.